You are the Breaker Leggers and we are in Birmingham at the Birmingham Rep to see the brand new musical based on Bob Marley's life. One, One love. love! So stay tuned to find out how many legs. Whether it's break a leg or, or a leg it. <laughs> So we've come to the interval of One Love at the Birmingham Rep, which means it is time for the Breaker Leggers 30 Second Interval Breakdown. Go! So, what do you think? Yes, so, so far, um, pretty interesting. I didn't know anything about Bob Marley before coming along. Uh, it's basically the story of his life from his roots in Jamaica and how he got started to crack in the UK and being a, a international star that he turned out to be. Set up against the backdrop of quite a volatile background in Jamaica with the politics, also his personal life and background. Also, the guy playing Bob Marley is really good, beautiful vocal, and Alexa Kadimi is playing his wife. Be interested to see how they use you in the second act. We'll catch you later. Bye! So we've come to the end of One Love at the Rep. How did you find that? I enjoyed it. I think it's a pretty decent show with a decent story. Um, Bob Marley's music's never sounded better. The band delivered really, really well. And Mitchell Brunnings, the uh, gent playing Bob himself, was phenomenal. He is a real class act. And as far as an impersonation performance goes, I have not seen this good since Woody McDonald in Lady Day, Emerson's Bar and Grill. It's a great impersonation performance. Yeah, Mitchell was great. He was one of the highlights of the piece. However, there were ups and I think there were some downs about the whole piece. Uh, some of the ups being Mitchell and the band. The music was great, kind of listening to Bob Marley's music with a, I think there was a nine-piece band, full accompaniment, of brass, drums, a percussion, sounded brilliant in that space. However, I think some of the uh, staging of the musical numbers was um, very weak and very dull, not much going on. It was almost like a concert at some point with just um, Mitchell standing there singing the song and we kind of expected to feel for this character and kind of just felt it was just a number being shoehorned in one after the other. In terms of what it is telling the story of an artist's life, we have seen this done better with more dynamic staging. Um, Beautiful, the Carol King musical, for example. Sunny uh, Afternoon, the Kinks musical. Yeah, and Jersey Boys, which is wildly popular with a story that moves really, really well and is expertly staged. Unfortunately, in that respect, this show is lacking. Yeah, with that setting the bar, this doesn't hit that. It was nice to um, see the story of Bob Marley, kind of a story that's not really well known or told. Uh, Good to see how he gave Jamaica a voice. Um, bringing music to the world. Yeah, seeing Bob's kind of meteoric rise to infamy, really, you know, kind of burning very brightly for a very short amount of time is an interesting thing to learn about. I've definitely come away knowing a bit more about the man, about his politics and beliefs than I did going in. So as an education, I've had one of those tonight with a musical backdrop. So director Kawain Kawi Amar, um, I just feel that maybe he needs to get a little bit of experience, a bit more experience in seeing some of the successes in this type of kind of almost jukebox musical has that are already out there. There are definitely some ideas that he could leverage within the direction. This is actually the second inception of this show. Firstly, it started as Marley the Musical over in Baltimore. Also had Mitchell in the lead there, so he's transferred over here. He renamed One Love and 50% of the material has been reworked for this show, but I almost feel like there's still more that we, he could give to the direction of it. Yeah, I think the piece needs to move with the musical numbers as to it just being a static musical number, which many of the musical numbers felt like. They were just shoehorned in. Yeah, and they, where they needed to move the story along, you needed to kind of progress the plot within them. Also, we have a bit of a West End legend in the cast, and a kind of recent legend, Alexia Kadeem, as seen in Book of Mormon, the original London cast for that. Also, Lion King. Yeah, played Nala in Lion King. Wicked. Yeah, also Alphaba in Wicked. Um, so some absolutely great credits to her name. Unfortunately, a bit underutilised in this. Weren't many opportunities for her to vocally belt, in which we know anyone that knows her work previously knows that she can deliver, and in this show, been understated, not a great part for her, but but played well. Yeah, her acting, she really got to show off her acting skills and she carried herself extremely well in that role. 
Also, Kat Simmons as Cindy Breakspear. She has a lovely voice and got an opportunity to sing a few low key numbers. Quite a sexy part, quite an understated part, but really nicely performed. The show ended with a bit of a bang. As you would imagine from a jukebox musical, they want everybody up on their feet, which they did, and they invited everybody onto the stage. So we went down onto the stage as well. Here's a little clip of what we got up to. So we had a great time with the, everybody, all the cast, the band, everybody having a bit of a concert and um, freaking out to some reggae moves and tunes. Great fun. So, how many legs for this piece I hear you ask? So, One Love played at the Birmingham Rep until mid-April. We are going to give... Three! Three legs for One mm -hmm. Love at the Birmingham Rep. Definitely worth a look if you're in the area. There are worse ways to spend an evening. So yeah, head down, check it out for yourself. Get on stage at the end, find out what that's like. That's an experience, and if you're looking for an experience, you'll get one here at The Rep this April. Absolutely, there's definitely um, some good positives to come out of it. An enjoyable evening, enjoyable music. You will um, definitely feel cultured coming out of this piece. Not a waste of time. Tell us what you think if you go to see it. Like, subscribe, share our videos. Follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you next time. We'll catch you soon. Bye.